All right, a beautiful spring morning and we've got wall block. So that means we're gonna be installing a wall. So down here on the side where we put in the infiltration trench, um, we're going to be putting in a retaining wall to meet the grade here at the front of the garage and kind of carry this all the way back behind this door. <clears throat> so that basically means where this line is painted out is where the wall is going and it's going to be going up to about that tar level on the side of the foundation. I'm gonna have to get down here with the machine and pull some stuff out and start digging a base. And we're gonna carry this wall, I believe, all the way back to that other wall. Oh yeah, and those gas guys never came to do the uh, trench here. So it all filled in and uh, we're gonna have to hand dig this because the AC unit's installed here, so I can't get the machine over it.
All right, so my dad got the wall all capped up. Everything went pretty well with this wall. Went exactly where we wanted it. And we got to the heights we wanted, such that down here, this top of this grate will be just below where we're planning to put hardscaped patio uh, down on this end. So we have two drainage uh, points, one right there and one right there for the pipe. And this pretty much hugs the property line such that we get maximum space and captured soil for the driveway entrance to the garage. And as we can see, the wall from our neighbors was originally on our property, so we cut right through that. So these are the trench drains here. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting setting these because we have to make sure they're level enough and then push them into each other such that those holes there align so we can put rebar in them. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun.
if I go down with a flat shovel. I can
right, so down here is sort of a mess, but this is where the infiltration trench is. And the wall now is complete to encapsulate this area up here. We'll be putting up patio space in this area, hardscaping it. And then we have the connection to the catch basin here. So this will kind of be a little bit below the grade that we're going to have up here for the surface. And anything that's caught in there is, of course, sent down to the infiltration trench once it reaches a high enough point. And then in the front of the garage here, we installed these nice big trench drains that will catch any uh, water coming down the driveway before it hits the garage and direct it all into the catch basin. So this is as complete as it'll get for a while since we have to have the driveway regraded and paved. And then after we get all that set up, we will work on hardscaping this side. And a little update on the interior here. This week we just got all the spray foam insulation in. So next week we will be getting drywall after inspection. And then it'll be on to doing floors and cabinets and all the other fun interior items.